like what? <laughs> confusion into like smile we're going further down the hole of my strange addiction it's a dangerous dangerous rabbit hole honestly but let's see what she's up to <laughs> Wait, the, what? Second Friday? What does this mean? <laughs> I, I know I'm getting distracted here, but what does that mean? Is it a new town? Is it the second Friday ever in this town? I love these small American towns, by the way. I, I really do. They're, they've got such a nice like, aesthetic to them. The Christmas capital of Virginia. What does that mean? <laughs> All their signs are so confusing. Nobody wanted to get their hands on Jude's bull semen. <laughs> Oh god, why did you have to say it like that? Oh, I'm disappointed you didn't get it. Like, oh, can I see an investment, please? Kevin claims that his range of gourmet sauces are a good example. I do. Kind of I do. They're a great example, trust me. Buy my sauces. Jim's Jam, they're called, which is confusing because my name's Kevin, but, you know, it's an inside joke. Why are they doing this to her? <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> That's gonna haunt her. It's gonna keep her awake at night. <laughs> That's the sort of thing kids put up on, like, their TikToks or their Instagrams. But at least that's their own doing. These people set them up for future embarrassment. That's mean. Don't go near my bag. She's just robbing her mom right in front of her and she can't stop her. Give me your money. <laughs> you're getting mugged by your daughter. Which got really out of hand and there were like seven police. Wait, you're recording this. They're underage drinking. Stop them. <laughs> Who is the cameraman? <laughs> Why aren't you intervening? Teresa has been addicted to eating rocks for more than 20 years. 20 years? She How are you alive? Attracted. Like not only for from eating like rock but surely like you're picking up rocks on the ground i i don't know do you clean them like it just seems very dangerous oh my god wait where was she was just is this her job in like a furniture store or is she just okay she has a name tag at least i hope that's just a name tag and not a thing that i eat i eat air freshener <laughs> because she seems so proud of it i wouldn't be surprised imagine you're like hey, excuse me miss i just want to inquire about this sofa <laughs> Yeah, sorry, why? See, this is the problem in other countries. They're trying to report on sad stuff and, like, current affairs and politics. If you just talk about feckin' sheep, well... Hold on. Let's not talk about feckin' sheep, all right? Uh, no, don't quote me on that. I'm talking about... If we just talk about sheep, everyone can get behind that. And I don't mean the sheep. Stop thinking that way. Get your mind out of the gutter. Let's see what else he has to say. I'm going to translate in real time for you. I'll translate the next part. I, he's even lost me there. Hold on, let's try that again. From the, from the top, let's go. Be doing the boat, you're laughing. I think he's saying it's a nice bit of money and you can't do anything about it. I think. All right, I'll do the rest. I'll translate the rest. Nice day, isn't it? My son. <laughs> no, I've honestly lost him. What does Google have to say about this? Be doing the boat, you're laughing. Okay, I don't think Google knows either, but it's a better guess than me, honestly. I'm kind of impressed. Come back, come back, come back. Look, don't say come back to them. If I can't understand you, the sheep sure as hell can't understand you. Don't talk to them. In the meantime, one of the farmers is offering a 2,000 euro reward for any information Whoa. leading to the return of his sheep. Let's go get those sheep, guys. <laughs> That's good money if we split it between all... Two million of us? <laughs> Just stop, okay? Just move on to the next part, okay? Can you strip it back for me, Jude, okay? Why do you keep saying stuff like this? Stop it. Inseminates into his cow to get her pregnant and hopefully produce a genetically superior offspring. <laughs> the dragons are like, uh, this sounds a bit weird. <laughs> that slogan is feckin' amazing. Success breeds success. I'd invest for that alone. He's doing, he's doing the Lord's work here. Well, actually, no, he's, he's directly against the Lord's work. <laughs> he actually wants to become his own God and he controls <laughs> the genetics and, uh, and what uh, the breeding situation. You know what? This is getting a pretty deep. I I'm investing. I'm in. <laughs> If you feel like it, you know? I'm not gonna write, no, I'm not going to have time. Yeah? I'm not going to have time to write any letters. And I'm, not, I'm not, probably not going to call you either. <laughs> That was so unnecessary. That was so stupid. She's the nicest woman ever. Probably not going to call you. 
And then you can just see his eye kind of go over to the camera and he's like, Oh, well, I'm I'm not gonna call you guys either. I, I don't need parents. <laughs> if they make me do something that I don't want to do, I'll stand up for myself and I won't take it. Yeah, we'll see about that when you get to Ireland, Harry. Oh, no, you're doing it to him too. This is so unfair. He kind of deserves it though. Mom that makes me the angriest out of any anyone. Yeah, she asked me to write a letter once. I was furious. It's health and safety because they're now- Like, uh, it is hilarious, but she actually has a point because it is dangerous to have these things running around the roads. Like, I, I have genuinely been in a position where when I was young, I was at home alone, and then I look out the window and just cows were surrounding the house. And I'm like, what do I do? <laughs> I'm just trapped in the house with cows surrounding me at every angle. An appeal has now been made to help find a permanent home for the group as a long-term Give him to the guy in Kerry! If you can manage to actually have a conversation with him. Why did they bring in the dog warden for gods? <laughs> That's like me. I like call up animal control and it's like, yeah, we got so many dogs out here on the road. And then they show up and there's just goats everywhere. Like, uh, these are funny looking dogs. I actually like how it feels on my teeth when I'm crunching them up. Why? It sounds so brutal. What, what is this sweat? What is this? What, it's just, uh, I don't know. Uh, biting into really hard things is not pleasant. And she's biting into straight up rock. I'm very worried about Teresa. <laughs> she's got a little, a little pill thing full of tiny rocks. What, what is that? Would you just call that little pebbles? Like I'll take a few pebbles for the road or would it be rock candy? <laughs> I would call it rock candy. You, know, you want a rock candy and then you just pull out this little, little tub of little pebbles. Get them down to an area where where they can accumulate okay. they don't necessarily stay small they can form concrete and now they get to be this big mm -hmm. oh. and then they get to be this big that could cause your death i disagree doctor <laughs> the doctor's like no i'm telling you exactly what can i i disagree I'm going to continue eating rocks. I'm very interested what she's going to say, because so far that's kind of where it's leading me. You know, that's what I'm thinking that she's going to say. She's just going to be in complete denial. I've thought that all the rocks have passed, but just knowing how they stick together and can form into concrete, that does worry me. There so are we you go. ready yes. to do anything different? Come on. Even consider anything I'm different? I'm considering it. Ah, uh, she's not going to do it. Okay. She was slow to even think about considering, <laughs> thinking about doing something different. She's not going to do it different. God damn. Imagine someone saying this will literally create a boulder in your stomach. <laughs> like it will actually just straight up kill you. And she's like, yummy rocks. <laughs> like, come on, do it for your kids, if not for yourself. We can only do so much for you in medicine before you do have to help yourself. The decision is yours must be so bizarre as a doctor and a little bit like a little bit heartbreaking because like you're going in to save people and help people and then there's this woman who's just eating rocks and is just harming herself and her family and she just will not listen to you even though it's just common sense i think my children are going to be very happy that i actually came to see the doctor they'll be very happy when you fucking stop eating rocks <laughs> i'm sure they're happy you took a step but you're gonna to have to take a bit of a leap here i do want to stop eating the rocks i'm not sure if it's going to be an overnight process but i'm going to quit okay, okay she finally said it she's cut back on her rock eating to twice a day. I still feel like that's a little bit too much rocks. I think any rocks is too much rocks. God damn it. <laughs> oh man, the top comment is making a rock candy joke. I thought I was clever. Oh, I'm sad. A cat made the same joke as me. Imagine if she accidentally tried. Oh no, I was thinking of that too, but I didn't want to say it. <laughs> I was surprised by that as well. Like she's been eating them for 20 years. Like how can you even live that long? In the middle of the night and she will spray. <laughs> Imagine waking at 3 a.m. and you just hear from the other side of the bed. <laughs> oh, would you just become immune to the smell at that point? I'd like to know a little bit about your career before you came to uh, this new business that you've launched okay. with your partner. Well, you see, it all began with a dream. <laughs> I opened retail and then discovered the dream was a nightmare. So I ran in front of a car <laughs> and now I'm here. But I wouldn't know how to, how to help 
you bring your product further. So I'm going to graciously... Of course you don't. That's, you know, uh, feck all. <laughs> what do you guys even do? Gavin Duffy wants to understand the different ways they can be used. I mean, you just feckin' eat them, don't you? Oh, it's also quite a strong adhesive. <laughs> it can bond wood to brick. <laughs> I just see risk after risk. Okay, a bit weird. They were all complimenting it a second ago. I love your sauces. I think it's a slow burner. And for those reasons combined, I'm going to declare myself and out. Thank you for your comments. They're just going out even though they're saying it's the best thing in the world. Uh, so I'm going to pass on it. What is their problem? They all said it was the best thing ever and then they just went out. <laughs> I don't think these people have any money, you know. There's Monopoly money on the table next to them. I'm out. Okay. Thank you all very much. What was the point? <laughs> He's so nice, he did a good business, you all loved it, and you're like, nah. <laughs> Sorry lads, don't have any cash. <laughs> I still left my wallet in my other pants, I'm out, I'm afraid. <laughs> I went on to the next one, it says I demoted myself from the English Dragon's Den to the Australian Shark Tank, and now I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I think we're bottom of the ladder. You see, the problem with Ireland, we're not ready for any serious weather, so. Like, we get bad weather, but it's not insanely bad, so we don't usually get snow, and we don't get, like, uh, storms that often, or hurricanes, and, well, we're just not really prepared for when we get hit by even the slightest amount of snow, so it kind of shuts down the country, and this is, uh, on the national news, where we were interviewing this lad who has this to say. Oh, God, it's death, for God, the mountains is breaking close now, right enough. Sorry, I... <laughs> He had that to say, but I don't know what it was. He said it's desperate. I don't know. <laughs> Let's keep going. Well, the demolishers, we had to go. Well, anyway, we hadn't much of a choice in the matter, but... Uh, <laughs> it, was cold. it was a cold journey to school this morning. Oh, God, you wouldn't belong getting frost, but... I mean... <laughs> It's just fantastic. He's like an 80 year old stuck in like a 14 year old's body. See, Look at that snow. I How can you even go out in that? Up, up it's treatreous. It's like not even an inch of snow. He's lost me. I don't know what he's saying. What a nice guy. <laughs> he's just having casual conversation with the news. And he's like, oh, well, thank you anyway. And he goes about his day. Let's see what, uh, what became of him because I know he was on he was on a talk show let's take a look at that from Derry Rory Max Orley oh there he is look at him go let him talk let the man speak Rory how are you oh not so bad how are you <laughs> yourself, bro? he's fabulous that's how they all talk up where you come from is it or would you be well, I love how the host is like perplexed by this he's like is that how you all sound up there like the host is Irish too authentic enough <laughs> I'm not sure what you said there, but I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Even the host doesn't understand him. What's the point in bringing him on a talk show when you can't understand him? We can just rename it to a, a listen show, I guess. Wait, hold the phone. Hold on. He's got a music video with almost two million views. He's got a... My highest music video has got like a million. This guy's way better at being Irish than I am. Wait, hold on, Rory. You're getting me demonetized. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> what the hell is happening? <laughs> this is incredibly Irish. I think we've gone down a rabbit hole and um, I think I want to come back out of it.